Your state, Iowa, the caucus state, first caucus state, um, is January 15th, and this is all sort of unraveling. All these three cases are unraveling during the course of primary season. Um, so is there any way it can be fair or in your mind? Um, Biden is doing the smartest thing an incumbent president can do, to keep his uh, potential opponent from campaigning for office. All right, let me talk now to the FD-1023 form. You and uh, Chairman Comer, House Oversight, have released it. It was not classified to begin with, isn't that right? It's never been classified. Yeah, you're right, unclassified. Okay. Right. Why was it so hard to get it? So hard to get it because when you're dealing with the FBI, they don't want you to know what they know. And in this particular case, I had a chance to read the document before, a uh, couple months before I was able to get it made public because we had whistleblowers that informed us of some of this information that the public ought to know as much as Chuck Grassley knows. And so we had to uh, be very careful that we didn't uh, let uh, the FBI know or the Department of Justice know where these whistleblowers were in the bowels of the bureaucracy. And in order to satisfy the whistleblowers to be adequately protected, and I'm, knowing, I'm known for protecting whistleblowers, uh, we had to take about three months to get it out. Actually, I knew about it uh, almost a year ago. It shouldn't take a year to get an unclassified document out, but that's the way the FBI works. How, how is that? I mean, I mean, the House Oversight has oversight. I mean, they, they should yeah. be able to look at them. I mean, what is the right that the FBI has to withhold the document? I guess they could say it's an ongoing investigation is one well, thing, but... Now, you remember when I had trouble getting this document, I eventually went to Chairman Comer of the House Oversight Committee because he had subpoena power, and I, as a member of the Senate and being in the minority of the Senate, didn't have such power. And he uh, subpoenaed it, and, uh, and we, uh, uh, if it wasn't going to be delivered at a certain time, uh, they were going to have, uh, uh, they were going to bring Ray uh, under contempt charges. And uh, before that happened, uh, Ray decided, I'll bring this document up to the Hill and let the members of the Oversight Committee see it, not Chuck Grassley see it, although they know I had previously seen it because I told Ray I know what's in this document. They bring it up heavily redacted. And the most important part that was redacted was the two sentences that referred to 17 phone calls, two of them between a, a Ukrainian uh, with the energy company and Vice President Biden, at that time Vice President, and between the other 15, between Hunter Biden and that. Now, I knew that those, uh, uh, what those sentences said about those phone calls, but the FBI wanted to keep it from the House Oversight Committee. Why do they want to do it? That's what I want the FBI to tell me. It looks to me like they wanted to cover up the fact that the Vice President was having conversations with somebody that was recorded uh, in in Ukraine, and uh, and the, and, and that, that's something you ought to know, and I ought to know. The 330 million people in the United States, if they want to read the document, ought to be able to read it. Now they can that I made it public.